Hi, this is David Fecky, and I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to create a uh, website uh, using the Orchard framework. So what I want to go ahead and do is in the Microsoft Web Platform Installer, they have an option to install the Orchard uh, web application <coughs> or the Orchard uh, CMS into uh, Microsoft Web Matrix. So as I'm starting that up here, Okay, so I'm opening up the Microsoft Web Platform Installer 3.0. It's looking for all the products. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add the Orchard CMS. Hit the install. I'm going to say I accept. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch the site. It's going to launch the site of Web Matrix. Now, if you haven't used Web Matrix before, it's actually quite a nice tool for prototyping some of these different frameworks. We'll go ahead and click the link here for the URL for our site. And whenever you go to launch Orchard for the first time, one of the things that's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and it's going to go through a setup routine and it's going to present you with some information where you need to fill out some basic information to get the site started. So the first thing it wants to know is the site. So I'm going to call this Orchard Demo. For the username, I'm just going to put John Doe, and we'll give it a password. Confirm that password. And right here at the bottom, it's giving us an option of either using an existing SQL Server database, or we can use the built-in SQL Server Compact Edition. And what it's going to do, if I choose this, is it's just going to use a uh, kind of like a local version of the uh, of the database that can reside right on side the, the website itself. For, for small sites, this might be a good option. For larger sites uh, where you have a lot of traffic, you're, you're better off going with a full-on SQL Server. But I'll go ahead and click uh, Finish the Setup. So this has created our, our demo site. As you can see here, this is just kind of like a, a template. Uh, this is the uh, basic theme uh, that comes at startup. So what I do is I'm going to click on the dashboard here. And as you can see here, there's all these settings and stuff where we can go through and uh, we can add pages, add a blog, uh, add widgets. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do for the time being, uh, so let's go ahead and show you uh, some of the features that you can add on. If you want to change the theme, you could uh, manually go through and uh, do this, but uh, they have all kinds of preset themes that you can choose from. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to install this uh, theme.
Now, as soon as this uh, message, let us know that that theme's been installed. So if we come over here to the themes in the menu, we can see our current theme, but we can also see that it added this new theme. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to enable this uh, this theme, and I'm going to go ahead and set it to the current theme. Go back to our site. And we've just changed the theme to our site. I'll have more on this in the next tutorial.